Hi Cancer, welcome to your love reading. This is Feline Intuition Tarot. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising for the month of December. Let's see what messages want to come out. What's going on with Cancer for December? Relationship, surrender, mask, divine intervention. Okay, let's see what else. What are the messages for Cancer for December? Dreaming of you, the main event, reaching the climax in your story, the best part, happy ending, divine feminine, and financial windfall, new money, increase in finances, unexpected income, job offer, pay rise, business on the up and up, follow your heart, it leads to abundance. So you got good messages coming through. Only bad thing is that mask card. But let's see what's going on. What's the energy between Cancer and the person who is currently on their mind for December? What's the energy between these two for December? Someone has feelings for you and they're waiting. You're staying to yourself or you will be in December like wanting space, but you do miss this person. We got the Hierophant. You, you guys could be married to this person or in a long-term connection or you're going to be. There's some healing going on in, a, in this connection. Some of you know you'll reconnect with this person or that there's someone that you're going to connect with. You're either healing from a relationship to connect with someone new or you're healing and will possibly end up being with the same person. Some of you might repeat a negative cycle with the star in reverse, the wheel of fortune in reverse and the tower. So be careful not to repeat something with someone who's wearing a mask. So I'm seeing like this unhealed energy, this repeat of a cycle, and then the tower. So it's not a good sign. So if you feel like you may be dealing with someone toxic, now would be the time to reevaluate, to reconnect them with them. Because I see it happening the same way it did before. But others of you, I, it could be a new person. It could be an Aquarius, a Virgo. Let's see... Um, main spread all right what's coming up for cancer when it comes to love what's coming up for cancer when it comes to love for december messages for cancer when it comes to love for the month of december You're healing. You're going towards stability. Nine of Pentacles, you definitely have the financial windfall. Some of you could be focusing on your money. That's actually going to bring you more abundance, putting your attention towards your money and healing as well with the Ten of Swords in reverse. But I'm seeing that the person you're dealing with, hold on, why are they feeling the Seven of Cups towards Cancer? They're indecisive. So this, if they haven't made a move, it's because they're indecisive and they're trying to be like detached and logical about the situation. But they are trying to make a decision. They're kind of torn between logic and emotion. Why the Nine of Swords in reverse? They're trying to get it together emotionally and mentally. 
you guys could be going through a breakup, divorce, or something. But this person's trying to get themselves together. Why the Ten of Swords in reverse? You're definitely healing. Focusing on healing. But I see someone, they like this person could come towards you. After not speaking for a while. Because they're right now trying to figure out what to do. Why the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, they feel like you've left them out in the cold. There may not be a way back in. They could, that could be what they're trying to figure out. How to get back into your life. I'm not really seeing whether this person is toxic or not. Maybe I'll see with the Oracle cards. But why the Nine of Wands? They're fighting with themselves. Um, got the moon. They are hurt, but they're not communicating and they're going through a lot of conflicts. It's like they're trying to hide their feelings. By the Eight of Pentacles. You're seeing this person as being very busy. So they could be very busy. They could be juggling a lot of things because that's how you see in them. And they also have the Queen of Wands, which is a busy person. But they are thinking about this connection. Why the Hermit in reverse? Yeah, I see you guys talking again. The moon. But it's like for some of you... It, it may be a thing where this person hasn't really healed or done any inner work. They just kind of focused on work and tried to figure out how to get back into your life but not necessarily dealt with the root cause of anything could be a pisces could be a aquarius aries virgo what are the messages for cancer for december fantasy daydreaming imagining fantasize they are doing that because they have the seven of cups so they're doing more thinking and fantasizing about this than anything we have chasing pursuit toxicity resilience careful that this is someone who just wants to chase and then leave when they have you karma consequences cause and effect deaths twin flame mirroring shared feelings reflection Let's see, what are the love messages for cancer? Chase your goal, not them. Yeah, there's something about chasing. I feel like you're chasing your goal because you have financial abundance coming. And it's like maybe they want you to chase them, but you're not. You deserve more than breadcrumbs. So yeah, I'm starting to see that this person has like a little issue. They kind of want something without having to work for it. We have don't mix love with lust and physical attraction. And we have it's time to be confident in yourself. So yeah, I'm seeing the energy of why this person might be a bad idea. I don't feel like they're your only option in December. I do feel like they want something like to be chased or just to pursue you, get you, and then repeat the same cycle. I feel like your best option is to focus on your finances because that's really paying off for you. Um, not saying that love isn't going to work, but we do have the mask card and divine intervention. So there is a warning with this person. What other messages for cancer? No jealousy, sadness, secrecy, cold, death, negative thoughts, isolation, loneliness, withdrawn. That sounds more like this person. Fire, nostalgic, yearning, calmness, shedding, shedding a burden. Rejuvenation, transformation, rebirth, passion. 
We have for Cancer. Rainbow, be patient, keep going, don't give up. You will eventually get what you want. Struggles will be over soon, almost there. So yeah, it's like focus on what you really want. We got match, which means we got fire energy twice. They could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have Aries here. It says good news and pleasant surprises, which you do have this main event card. Wanting to settle down, new love, on the right track towards your dreams. So yeah, something's about to start. Even with the twin flame card, there's fire. So something's about to start for you. And there's fire here. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of fire <laughs> in this read. You could have fire in your chart, or they could, but there's definitely like it's giving me like ace of wands vibe that something something's about to take off for you so definitely focus on that what was that no. definitely focus on what's about to take off for you because it could be really big um let me see what else do we have what are the messages for cancer unpredictable memories nostalgia didn't we just have this word yeah nostalgic learning yearning not learning nostalgic learning so either you're missing them or they're missing you someone's reminiscing on the past i do see this person doing a lot of daydreaming especially if they have pisces in their chart loose ends unfinished business unholy union soulmates you could meet a soulmate or do you have new love some of you like i said are reconnecting with this person i am saying be careful because it does like if you know that this person is toxic or just wants to chase then you would know what you're getting yourself into but for some of you you may not know because they're wearing a mask but let me see what are the messages for cancer Gifts, surprises, openings. It is Christmas in December, so <laughs> this card keeps coming out. We've got true love, pure love, honest connection, gossip, dating, wine and dining, romance. Some of you are going to be dating. Why is gossip here? People are going to be talking about your looks, your abundance, the things that you're attracting. You're going to be looking good. You're gonna be making money, so some of you are gonna be investing in your appearance and really stepping out. Maybe you've been in the hermit mode for a while. So when you step out looking good, people are gonna be talking about you. I mean, if you look good, people are gonna talk, so yeah. There's a lot of potential for a new love. There's potential for reconnecting with this person, but they don't look too, I'm not gonna say that they look like the best option for you why the mask yeah they could have their oh. there could be a third party or they could be trying to pursue or find someone or be chased by someone else because they seem to want to be chased but the three of cups in reverse and the three of swords this is undeniably third party energy it doesn't mean that there's one now there could be but it seems like this person wants to be pursued they could be very insecure and just like need the attention from others so you would know if that's your person but yeah that's what's hiding under their mask their insecurities their need for validation from others so be careful of that they're not your only option they're not the only person in the world you can get better if you want it. But yeah, this is what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. It could be a Libra, a Virgo. Virgo again. Aries. Uh, Aquarius. Definitely fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And they seem to be behaving like one too. Not the good fire sign. 
fire, they're behaving like a like the shadow of the fire signs, okay. Um Virgo, yeah, Virgo energy. Those are the main signs. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. Uh, I mixed in <laughs> different decks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.